Hi guys, Mo here, documentary photographer. Oh, the light is not on. All right, let's start from the top. Hi guys, Mo here, documentary photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And this is my channel. Today I want to review, like not the technical review of the camera, but I want to talk about the things I feel are beneficial to people, especially beginners looking to buy a small camera as they begin their careers as maybe photographers, cinematographers, or just um, small business owners who want to create content for their businesses. The Canon M50, <laughs> that entry level mirrorless camera, that small camera you can put in your pocket and go anywhere with it. And it is as powerful as anything you can think about. Like you can fit it in your clothes, in your bag, anywhere. And wait. <laughs> so guys, I had to fit it in my jacket. Da da da. <laughs> That's it. As small as this is, it, this is a very powerful tool. And like I said, you can fit it into your jacket, your clothes, and uh, you go anywhere with it and you can shoot, create content with this. So uh, in this video, I'll be talking about um, why I feel the M50 is good for beginners, why I feel the M50 is good for you if you're a content creator, why I feel the M50 is good for you if you're a beginner, photographer or cinematographer. Stick to the end of this video and you'll find it very, very helpful. And this camera was sent to me, let me bring it out again. It feels good to bring it out from the jacket. This camera was sent to me by the good people at Shutter Store NG. So if you're in Nigeria, whichever part of Nigeria you are, you know, Nigeria has 36 states, so whichever part of Nigeria you're watching this from, you can actually get any camera gear. I get my lighting gear from them, my camera gear lenses and every other stuff from Shutter Store NG. You can find them on Instagram, you can find them on Twitter. It is just at, um, at Shutter Store NG. Shutter Store NG. You'll see it right here. This is really slicky. Stay to the end of the video. So the first reason I actually recommend the M50 camera, it's the size. So if you live in Lagos, Nigeria, and you, you want to photograph outside your home, like on the street, you realize that anytime you pull up a bigger camera body, people will be like, hey, what's going on here? Which they worry you, bring your camera, who send you? Ah, I will kill you, I will do this. So, <laughs> so it's crazy to pick up uh, a bigger body to go to the street to photograph. I'm talking from my experience as a street photographer. Yes, I've not been harassed before, but I've heard instances and incidences where my friends have been harassed and all of that. So, but going out with such a small camera body, nobody will actually think or take you seriously. You actually feel, oh, maybe you're just using this um, point and shoot camera, it's nothing, and people will just let you pass because People actually feel that for a camera to be a professional camera, it has to be big. So with the M50, as small as this is, you would pass. They will actually allow you to photograph, take photo photos on the street, and nobody would actually um, get to um, disturb you. you know, remember when I said you can put it in your pocket? So you, imagine you just pulling a camera from your pocket. It's just like um, a family kind of a camera you're using. So nobody actually takes you seriously. Nobody will be saying, what are you using the photograph for? Why, why are you taking the photograph here? Because they just feel that like you're just having fun because of the size. So that's for me, is the easiest thing because it's light, like it's lightweight, it's not heavy, it's not bulky. You can pack in anywhere you're going. Okay, like people create content for a small business. Maybe you're a cake uh, business owner. You know, you can just put in your handbag when you get to where you want to photograph, you just place your cake, take your camera out and take a picture. It is the size for me. The size is actually everything that I love about this camera. The second reason I would actually recommend the M50 for a beginner is because it is very simple to use. You know, Canon has a way of simplifying their menu. It's not something you, it makes it complicated you'll be looking for what, what how do you do this how do you do that it's like the menu it's simple english 
or where, whichever language you set it into because there are a lot of languages so you could actually look through the menu and place the language that you will understand but the point is it is very very simple to use so you go to menu you see a lot of options and what, whatever you press because it is a touch screen whatever you touch works so if i actually think that is this is the simplicity that makes it to stand out for me because when you are actually a beginner you don't want to make mistakes with oh what have i pressed or what should i press or what should i be looking for or what what does this menu stand for what does that menu stand for am i actually doing the right thing but with the canon m50 it is a simplicity for me it's like I don't know how to put it. I've used from the Canon. Um, I've used other Canon bodies like what I'm shooting this one on now, the 5D Mark III. I've used the 5D Mark IV. I've used a lot of Canon bodies, but the M50, the simplicity in the menu and actually how everything works on here is very good. And it would actually help a beginner who is not trying to get things complicated with the usage of a camera because when you're a beginner, all you just want to do is to take a picture. Or whether you do videos, you just want to do a video. Or you are into content creation, you just want to do your vlog. So you don't, you don't actually have time to be going through menus and sort things you, you get. So it's crazy. But this one, it's actually good because what you see is what you get. Number three reason why I recommend the M50 is the autofocus the dual pixel autofocus on this camera is so dope for a camera of this price of this size like when you're taking a photograph it has this eye tracking stuff so all you just need when you pull it up on someone's face the autofocus goes straight and tracks the person's eye clicks on there and stays there to give it um, the focus because when you're actually photographing if you place your focus on the eyes the image will be sharp so what it does when you're trying to take a portrait with the m50 the m50 the sensor actually goes to the eyes and make sure that your focus is in the eyes by itself like you don't need to do it and then you take a picture and it's creeps like it's sharp that's all like I don't know how to put it and if you're doing a video you can actually track from one subject to the other and you see as the, the um, focus autofocus is going you can actually make the autofocus follow a particular subject to wherever you're actually pointing the focus into so it tracks the subject so if, if this is me and I put it right here if I go this way if I go this way the autofocus on the M50 will actually track my face that's dope it's something you can't find on other camera bodies but the dual pixel autofocus on this camera whether you're shooting pictures you're doing videos it's just top notch so you don't have to be thinking oh was my picture sharp did i do it well did i photograph well did i put the focus point in the eyes did i or when i'm doing video and i'm trying to do the manual did I do it well? Did I focus with my manual setting? Did you, you don't have to worry at all about that. You just know that when once you touch your screen and the focus is there, it tracks whatever movement is made in front of the lens. Same goes with the pictures too. So you don't have to worry whether your picture is sharp or it's not sharp. All you just need to do is to put the focus point there and click and boom, the picture's just sharp. So that's the third reason I recommend this for beginners so you don't have to struggle with your focus. The dual pixel autofocus on the M50 is to do. Canon, you guys are doing a great job. So the next reason why I would recommend the Canon M50 is the flip out screen. Like, you could go all the way, like, you see, you could go all the way like that, and you could turn it all in so if you're shooting like um, from a low angle, you could turn right here. And if you're shooting from an upper angle, you can't see it, you can turn it this way, you can still see your screen. Do you understand? So this flip screen, and it's, it's very sensitive, it's a touch screen. 
So you can use it to track your focus. You can, so you don't have to say, I can't see what, you know, maybe you're shooting a very low angle. You can't say, I can't see it because you can actually look at the LCD screen here and you actually see what your camera is doing big time. So for me, that's a good feature. That flip out screen, my favorite, because especially for people that are actually doing vlog. So if you're actually shooting vlog, all you just need to do is to turn this to yourself. Like, so if you do this, you can now see yourself here while you're talking to the lens here, right? You don't have to just be think because if you're shooting with the uh, Canon 5D Mark III, like I'm shooting it, I can't see myself. I only assume that, okay, I'm well positioned and all of that. But with this, with the flip out screen, which is very, uh, is a touch screen too, I can actually turn this and use it with my vlogging. And it's a very good camera for people who are starting their vlogging on YouTube or any other um, video channel, you know. So for, I actually think that it's good. You know, you want to talk, you don't be like, oh, am I in the wrong place or am I looking at the right place and all of that. With the flip out screen, you can do anything. Powerful, powerful too. The next thing is the Wi-Fi. It's right here, I'll show you. So you can shoot pictures and with the Canon app on your phone, you can actually transfer images from your camera to your phone and share in real time. Isn't that amazing? Like, so you can photograph your friends and tell them, oh, download the Canon app on your phone and you transfer pictures to them or you just transfer to yourself and from your phone, you know, you drop to them. That's the easiest way to go about it. So you don't have to go back and forth, send emails, upload on Google Drive and all of that. With the um, Wi-Fi, you just connect with your phone, you shoot with your phone, you shoot send the pictures to your phone, save it, and share with your friends. And if you're shooting video, do you know you can actually use your phone, change any settings on the camera? Like you can change from the ISO to the shutter speed, to the aperture, to basically everything on your camera when you're shooting video in the live mode with your camera, no, with your phone. Like you can use your phone, sync it with that um, Wi-Fi, and you, will be able to control your camera with your mobile phone. That's top notch. That's what I say. It makes it easier for beginners because as a beginner, you don't want to be shaking us if you don't know what you're doing. Just pull up your phone like a smart key and press it and everything changes on your camera and you can continue to record. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> the M50. Oof. Thank God it's with me now. <laughs> the next reason I would recommend the Canon M50 for beginners is the, um, everybody talks about the megapixel of a camera. So this camera has a 24 megapixel. The truth is, most of the time our images end up on our phones, tablets, laptops. That's the most. And for a camera that has a 24 megapixel, that's enough, like that's more than enough because you're not actually trying to photograph for the billboards. You're not, as a beginner, you're not trying to photograph for huge prints and all of that. You're just photographing for your friends, for yourself, for your mobile phone, screen, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all those other um, social media apps. Or if you're doing video, you're doing it for YouTube, for Instagram, for Facebook. You don't need like a 50 megapixel kind of stuff. This has a 24 megapixel and it works perfectly well for what you do. Always think about it this way. Where will my image end up? The 24 megapixel is enough to actually put you out there. Whether you are a content creator, you are a beginner photographer or a videographer, this works for you perfectly. Before I go, let me talk about the lenses. So it, this comes with a 15 to 45 mm lens. And well, you would say it's not good enough because it's not glass, but you can get an adapter. The adapter will actually allow you to use full frame lens. So with the adapter, you can buy, you can use any lens at all. So you're not restricted. Just get the adapter, that's all. So finally, is the price. It's like six, 
Is it up to $600 for a new one? You can find used one for like $400, $300, depending on where you're checking. But if you go to, if you're in Nigeria and you go to Shutter Store NG, you actually find it a lot more cheaper in Naira. So go to Shutter Store right now and check out all the other gear they have from Sony cameras to Fuji films to Canon cameras. They have lighting equipment, modifiers, and all of that stuff. So go check them out right now. I'll put your link below um, on Instagram, on Twitter, a phone call away, and you can have yourself a, gear, a used one or a brand new one with Shutter Store NG. So I hope with all the things I've explained, you realize that the, 50, the M50 is a camera for you as a beginner. It's small body. It's more affordable, it does the job, the autofocus is great, it's lighter, and nobody would actually drag you on the street for carrying this camera body. If you want this kind of videos, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends about it, share, and tell me what other camera gear you want me and Shutterstore NG to do a review about, because the next one might just be bigger. Please drop in the comments below and tell me which particular camera gear or lighting gear or whatever gear you want for photography that you want me to review let me know all right that will be the end of this video thank you for watching please remember to subscribe to this channel my name is Mayo Otu I'm a documentary photographer based in Lagos Nigeria and it's so good to be back on YouTube see you guys in the next video